Hello, friends. I am so glad you're here. I'm Judy Herman, author of Beyond Messy Relationships. And we are wrapping up a month, as here it is, already the end of the month, and it's been Counseling Awareness Month. It's been my goal to just get the mystery, take the mystery out of counseling and let you be introduced to some other therapists, plus give you some tips, not therapy, of course, but tips about how to do the next right thing, some tips about habits and other things. But here's what I'd like to share with you. So yes, I'm an author, I'm a speaker, but I'm also a counselor. And, but I wanna share with you what I have learned from showing up every day, Monday through Friday for Counseling Awareness Month. Actually, I've learned a whole lot more just beyond even this month, but ever since I have been showing up every day, Monday through Friday on Facebook Live. So here is what I'm learning, three things. And I think you can maybe ask yourself these very same questions. What I'm learning is, number one, we don't know what we don't know. And number two, we have a knowing and doing gap. And number three, we need to review and evaluate. And that's absolutely crucial for our for change to happen and for any growth and awareness to come about. Now, let me go back to number one. We don't know what we don't know. That has been so very true in my life. And the thing that really inspired me to show up Monday through Friday doing Facebook Lives, and especially to focus then on Counseling Awareness Month this month, my mentor, Les Brown, for my speaking, he says, speakers speak. I was like not speaking before started. I mean, yes, I was speaking, but I was not showing up on a regular basis. Speakers speak. So I just had to get over myself, show up on Facebook Live, whether I wanted to or not. <laughs> But I've enjoyed this. I have found even some energy of things I've enjoyed. I don't know what I don't know. So I did this and now I do know, right? I've done some solo episodes, giving you some tips on how to improve your life and your relationships and your mental health. Plus I've had the energy of interviewing some other therapists and I really love the energy of interviewing other therapists. I love the energy of being on podcasts. So I didn't know what I didn't know, and you don't know what you don't know. And we can, and, and so that's number one, is we don't know what we don't know, and it's good to step out and do a, a risk of growth, hang out with people who do know more than you do and that you can learn from and that can mentor you and even other counselors if you are needing counseling or, or just really need a good checkup mental health-wise and relationship-wise, because you don't know what you don't know. We're all in our own heads. Number two. We have a knowing and doing gap. Now, I did a little video on the knowing and doing gap, but it is so true. If we knew, like we know a lot of things, right? <laughs> and with every book that we've read on, let's say, weight loss and health and well-being, if we really did do all those things we're supposed to do, that, you know, we probably wouldn't be needing to read so many of those books or listening to these podcasts, right? So there is this knowing and doing gap that is so very common to our humanity. <laughs> and, and we need to learn how to close the gap. So that's the first thing. We, we don't know what we don't know. There is a knowing and doing gap for all of us. And then number three, review and evaluation on a regular basis is crucial for change. Earlier, I did a, a week or two ago, I was talking about the free to focus planner, Michael Hyatt's free to focus planner. And really at the end of each day, at the end of each week, at the end of each quarter, it's a good time to reevaluate. And there's a way in that planner that you can do that. I'll put the link in, by the way, if you're interested in that. But I, I sometimes I, ha I get away from that. I get away from like at the end of the day, just kind of like, okay, reevaluating. And, you know, what, what worked well? Um, how did I respond? And I have more of a problem doing that actually on a quarterly basis or even a weekly basis. But when we do do that, it really helps to review and evaluate because that is crucial for change. Uh, actually, one of my mentors who has a very solid marriage, and I think, I don't know if it's at their anniversary or another time, but they ask themselves, this husband and wife, why did we marry each other? Why did we, why did we get married in the first place? You know, that should not be a threatening question for you. But it, if, it, if it is a threatening question, it's still a good one to ask, right? 
but we need to be able to ask ourselves that. Why did we marry our spouse? And what does need to be changed, right? Because we drift. We drift, don't we? We drift in our lives if we don't evaluate. So ask yourself this question. I'm asking myself this question. Why am I showing up on Facebook live Monday through Friday? It's a good question to ask and worthy of asking to reevaluate. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I am going to review. I'm going to review and I want to re remind you also. And if you've not seen all of these videos that I've mentioned this month, I, I'm just going to review this week, actually. So Monday, Monday, we talked about the difference between guilt and shame and how it can go back to a mathematical problem. I had a really awesome visual for that. So go back to that one. Monday, the difference between guilt and shame. It could be very freeing. Tuesday, we talked about the three beginner skills that you need to move from chaos and into calm. That was Tuesday. Wednesday was three ways to balance your social media time. And then Thursday was three ways to deal with difficult people. There's something about three ways, right? <laughs> Easier to put little talks together. Now, if you have a hard time finding those videos and other ones that I've done, because I've interviewed some remarkable therapists and coaches, I would love for you to tap into their wisdom and what they have to offer. And you don't want to weed through all of that on Facebook. I did post every one of these on on uh, the YouTube channel. So I put that also in the description. Make sure you go to my YouTube channel and it is, yes, Judy Herman Relationships. YouTube, just go to Judy Herman Relationships, you'll find it. So these are strategies, beyond messy relationship strategies for your authentic life. And you'll, you'll be able to rewatch and then you can even uh, subscribe as well. So here's what I'd like you to do. First of all, if you've not already gotten an author signed copy of Beyond Messy Relationships and you have a United States address, of course, then make sure you go to the link that's in the description here and get your author signed copy. And of course, if you're outside of the US, you can get it wherever books are sold and it is available on all formats, both print, Kindle and Audible version. And then, you, then I'd love for you to go to the From Calm to Chaos group. We're gonna do another group and this is going to be developed also into an online product. So even if you're not in the area, get yourself familiar with us and I will let you, you know, know when we're gonna be doing an online group that for those outside of our area in Tennessee and Georgia. So for now, I want you to just remember, it's really good to learn lessons about your life and it's good to do some reevaluation, but I wanna let you know, I care about you. And that's why I took the time to make sure that, especially during this month, Counseling Awareness Month, that you're well aware of resources that are there for you, okay? And if you're a counselor yourself, if you are a mental health therapist, a mental health professional, or you're a coach, I'd love for you to go to my, uh, ask to join my Vibrantly Authentic Therapist and Coaches Facebook group. But I want you to be encouraged as well, because you know what? We're all human, right? <laughs> and we all have messiness in our lives and how to go from chaos into calm, how to get beyond the messes, beyond our relationship messes and into your divine self, the divine invitations to your authentic self. So there's my book and I'm very proud of it. And you know what? You are amazing and I hope you have a great weekend. Thanks so much for joining me.